you've never played a video game in your life, you've undoubtedly heard of and seen pictures of Space Invaders. It's one of the most important parts of video game history. Even 33 years after its release, its trademark aliens are still familiar and recognizable by the public. When the Atari 2600 released its version of Space Invaders in 1980, as the very first licensed home video game, it alone is credited with helping to double Atari's sales of the VCS. It was the first killer app for video games. It can be found on just about every platform in existence, and was a personal favorite of a very young Atari Leaf. Today I'm going to look at a sequel to Space Invaders on the Atari 8-bit line of computers, called Deluxe Invaders, which is actually based on the arcade sequel, Deluxe Space Invaders. Now, Space Invaders on the Atari 5200 and 8-bit computers was a fine game, but it didn't quite feel like a real Space Invaders game. Although it was a nice touch to have the aliens appear from a rocket-like spaceship on the left side of the screen, the aliens looked completely different and the shield bunkers were gone. A good game, but it wasn't quite the Space Invaders I was hoping for. Even the invaders in 2600 Space Invaders more closely resembled their arcade counterparts. Now on to Deluxe Invaders, released by Rockland on Atari computers in 1981. First of all, you'll notice the shield bunkers have returned, and the aliens look much more realistic, and gone is the large rocket ship on the side. The graphics are beautiful and colorful, and the aliens are well animated. Their squiggly bombs are also much more reminiscent of the arcade version. Gameplay is tight, and the control is spot on, and it feels like you almost have a rapid-fire tank in this game, which really makes destroying the aliens a satisfying experience. There are now two different kinds of motherships that are worth different points, and in later rounds they will occasionally drop alien reinforcements always at the most inopportune time as the aliens are closing in on the Earth and you. Another interesting twist in Deluxe Invaders is that some aliens in the middle rows will now split into two, making the game much more difficult and challenging. The sound, although not exactly like the original, is very well done, and the familiar thump 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 of the aliens marching across the screen is very nice, and although there is a two-player game, it's only one player at a time. Two players playing simultaneously, blasting aliens together seems like a fun and obvious option that, unfortunately, is missing. Overall, I was very impressed with this Deluxe Invaders, and really enjoyed it. Although not perfect, it captures the fun and style of the arcade original, as well as its sequel very well, and I highly recommend it for gamers and collectors alike. This is Atari Leaf, thanks for watching everyone.